We received our fair share of storms recently also. Howard Schechter reports on just how big those storms were. Betty, on a scale between 1 and 10, I'd have to give this about a 7.5 or an 8. Somewhere about 7 feet of snow fell, and that's not counting compaction. My weather room, and essentially the, uh, the home of Eastern Sierra Weather Services, which my business is, the intertropical convergence zone. Mesoscale convective cluster down. Cyclogenesis. Cyclogenesis is just a meteorological term for storm development. It's the beginning. And, yeah, genesis is the beginning, mm -hmm. and cyclo yeah, has to do with cyclonic rotation. flow, low pressure formation of a low pressure system. Uh, what we call divergence aloft, in other words, the air was really spreading. Big juicy bear clinic band that's beginning to form north of Hawaii, and it sort of arcs into northern California. The, the bear clinic band, you know, where are they playing? Oh, the bear clinic band? Yeah. Pineapple connection, so to speak. Yeah. yeah, the pineapple connection here. And so we'll just have a nice big fetch of moisture or pineapple connection into California for a rather prolonged precipitation event. Uh, we could see some very, very heavy precip in the central and southern uh, Sierra. Frog strangler. <laughs> ever heard of a frog I've strangler? I've never heard of a frog strangler. Oh, a frog strangler. Well, you have to talk to some of these guys from... Are they uh, on the loose or the police uh, out looking for them? You know, from Louisiana, you know, they know what frog stranglers are. Um, when you said pump you up, it reminded me that I guess some people had spotted Arnold Schwarzenegger up here a week or so ago. Up Is here that right? Uh -huh. He comes every year and skis. You remember him, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> One of your idols. <laughs> No, to make it to the chicken dinner. You're going to be doing that in your sleep. <laughs> <laughs> now you hear the U-Paws going right now. Uh, no sign of any precipitation. Winter is definitely a long ways away. And that is an earthquake right on camera. We heard it, but we didn't feel it. Uh, Mother uh, Nature is rocking and rolling. Halloween day and into, uh, I guess, Halloween Eve. It's Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law, yeah. right. There's a lot of Murphys in town. No <laughs> pun against the Murphys. <laughs> well, it's called anomalies. <laughs> oh, is it? Now, those aren't things that you see floating in your cereal bowl. <laughs> and if it doesn't jive with the anomalies mm -hmm. or the teleconnecting anomalies, uh -huh. then we say, we, we say, well, we'll poo poo that. You know, and just say, <laughs> it ain't going to happen. What kind of a term is that? <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a little bit of wind associated with this weather pattern, isn't there? This is another one of your this great is... ideas, Ollie. <laughs> what is? The wind. The wind? I thought. Well, you're the one that's been forecasting all the wind. Uh, a major snowstorm in progress right now at Mammoth Mountain. Now, we expect the front to gradually move into the area over the next couple of hours, and anywhere from 10 to 15 feet of new snow is expected in the town of Mammoth Lakes Ooh. by sometime, oh, midnight tonight. Yeah, with that trough intact, we got the strong winds, but as soon as the trough pulls apart, mm -hmm. we'll lose the wind. You're the weatherman. You know. No, you're the weatherman. The weather's so easy that even I, I can oh, predict okay. it. I'm taking off for the weekend. Are you? Where are you yeah. going? Salt Lake City. Oh, I've we're heard that's nice this time of the year. We're going to go chase tornadoes. <laughs> are you really? No. <laughs> chase lightning storms or something? Yeah. Um, but uh, the weather uh, will be very, very you're nice You're going to see Brigham Young, I'll bet. Brigham Young. Yeah. I'm going to see his, uh, jo his, Joseph Smith? his uh, memorial. Oh, that's right. He's, not, yeah. right. He's yeah. not with us anymore. I'll bet you there's a lot of Joseph Smiths around now. Yeah, especially in Utah. <laughs> right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dan. Let's do it. Let's get to the weather tonight. Good night. 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 Good day, Stern Sierra. Well, this is Howard Schechter, and today is my final broadcast. I have enjoyed every minute of providing the weather to the region and those who love it for over 40 years. As my final opportunity to speak to you, I want to thank you and tell you what a special part of my life this has been. I moved to Mammoth in uh, September of 19. 78 and worked a number of odd jobs. I worked at Kittredge's as a boot fitter for two winters and worked construction during the summer. As in the, the 1980s, as they continued, Dan McConnell started taping me for a televised weekend weather forecast, which eventually grew into a uh, weeknight show on Channel 5. On my uh, personal uh, level, Mammoth Lakes has been my home, my life, and my special place. I met my wife, Donna, in Mammoth in 1984 and has been a nurse at Mammoth Hospital for over 30 years. We raised our two children who went through the Mammoth school system and stayed in California. And most importantly, I want to thank the people of the Eastern Sierra from Northern Mono County Line to the Southern Owens Valley and out into Western Nevada. There's no greater place to live or experience weather. 
Signing off, Howard Schechter.